Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back uh, with Drogado um, for sort of a mid-season update here. Uh, so we just, it's well, it's June, which is kind of mid-season for Ireland. So we're just going to go through uh, transfers and whatnot. Um, so in the end, we brought in those three players. Um, brought in Mark Staunton, a good young centre mid there, uh, been playing pretty well for us. Alan Conlon, um, attacking midfielder, he hasn't been the best for us, but he's still been given a good few performances. And Connor Gaffney. Definitely the best player out the lot. Um, look at that rating he got there. He's been playing pretty well for us here. Um, after that, like well, this season, sort of counting, we signed one attacking midfielder, uh, Paddy Quinn, but he does have an injured cruciate ligaments, which I didn't realise. Um, and we had to buy him because um, someone left us. Ryan Coombs didn't want to sign a new contract because he wanted lots of money. So instead, he goes to less money to St. Path Athletic. And I'll show you where they are in the season. So I'm really pissed off why he left us. Um, also leaving Tyrion Mulvena, Curtis O'Leary and Mark O'Brien. But yeah, I'm just pissed off at Ryan Coombs for leaving us like that. Um, but that's it, really. Uh, Fixtures-wise, this hasn't been so good this season. Starting off, 3-1 loss to um, Sligo. Alan Conlon got his first goal for us. All-Ireland Cup, first quarter-final leg, one versus Coleraine. Um, we lost 1-0. And um, lost another one to Cork City, 1-0. We did um, win in the uh, second leg, 1-0, and uh, no Haverty, and we actually um, went through on penalties. Then we picked up a bit of form. 2-1 versus St. Pats, uh, Kieran McGahan and Conlon again. Shamrock, 1-1, uh, Peter Higgins with a goal. Salt Hill, we beat 1-0, uh, McGahan again. Uh, Dundalk, we beat 1-0, Michael Daly. Uh, the All-Ireland Cup semi-final, oh, leg two, um, we, won we drew 1-1. Uh, Rob Maher with a goal there. Nil nil versus Limerick. Two one in the second leg. So we went to the final. Shane Murray and Hugh Brady. Two two versus Waterford. Hugh Brady and into Coran. We lost in the League Cup second round to uh, Cork City on penalties, which was really annoying. And then we lost three two to Shelbourne. Um, two own goals there. James Cassidy and Hugh uh, Brady with our goals. Nil nil versus Longford. One nil versus Derry with Jerry Kirkhoff with the goal. One one versus Shamrock. Uh, Kieran McGahon again. Sligo, we had in the Premier Division, we lost 2-1, now have a tea with our goal, and then we had him in the All-Ireland Cup Final, and it was 1-1, and we lost on penalties. So, in the end, Staunton missed his penalty, they won 5-3 on penalties in the end, David Bentley plays for them, which kind of shows, um, Shane Murray got our goal back, but couldn't win that for the Cup. 2-0 against St. Pat's this time, Shane Murray and Hugh Brady, Ryan Coombs getting booked again, just ugh, so annoying when he's left. Um... Hugh Brady, 1-0 versus Salt Hill. When the Senior Challenge Cup second round versus Waterford, we uh, drew 2-2, Shane Murray and Ender Coran. Then we beat him 2-0 in the set re replay. Maher and David Gonzalez with the goals there. Two youth players. Um, then we drew 0-0 with Cork City. And that's it, been it so far. And now we've got the Euro Cup first round qualifications coming up. Um, so yeah, this is the league. We are sitting in fifth this year. 24 points is very, very close between tw like ninth and second, um, so we're only two points behind them. Sligo running away with the league as per usual. But look at that. Ryan Coombs left us second place to go to St. Pat's, who are in tenth place. It's just so annoying how just because they have a, like a little bit bigger reputation, he would just leave for us like that. So, yeah. Um, not doing the best, really, compared to last season. Um, if we go to stats... Um, haven't been doing the best. Hugh Brady's got top goal score with five. Um, one of the youth players that was already here when I got here. Uh, Shane Murray's got four. McGurhon, um, another younger player uh, from the left wing, has got three. Assist-wise, James O'Brien, he's been doing very well. Our centre mid, um, he has got five. Then Hugh Brady's got four. Rob Mejia. Um, but yeah, average rating. Dave got, well, he's got a sub-appearance. Consistently, Noel Haverty and Gaffney and... Brady have got some pretty good um, appearances there. But yeah, haven't been doing the best this year. I'm thinking I might be leaving at the end of the year because really, you're not going to do anything against Sligo. Like, it's going to take a long time to beat them. they got, like, Alec, look, look at this guy. Look at those stats compared to the rest of, like, our league. They're dominating, so I'm thinking of leaving. Um, my contract is up at the end of the season, but they might offer me a new one depending on what happens. So I just want to get feedback now, so if you should think I should leave or not. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back at the end of the season. Um, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.